Hey guys, Jeff here. Uh, not long ago I posted a video about converting mod files over to uh, uh, MPEG files uh, and I've had a question here asking how to convert those uh, from a 4x3 format, which is what they come in, to a uh, 16x9, uh, which is what the camcorder actually records in. Uh, in Windows XP, that version of Media Player, uh, Windows Media Player that is, does not properly display the format. Uh, it would come up looking like this, which clearly is not a proper format so uh, that format is is compressed it's condensed down to be this 4x3 format uh, this should actually be stretched it's difficult to tell from this particular video but if it was a actual person's face or or s some people in the foreground you would definitely be able to tell that that there's uh, some resolution compression compression that's happened there uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, basically switch this over uh, convert this particular file to a 16x9 format uh, the first thing that we need to do is download a program called uh, SD Copy, which is developed by uh, someone I'm not actually sure who. Um, I believe it's this guy right here. His name is Sections Chef. Chef. Uh, this particular program is very small, very lightweight. Uh, it uh, you're actually downloading basically the bulk of the program, which is going to be these three files. Uh, all it is is the executable itself a DLL and your settings file. That's the entire package. Uh, you can see right there the executable file is actually only 192K so this thing is very small. Uh, I'll post the link for this into the sidebar um, the link to this particular form uh, but this link is where you'd actually download it uh, since I've already got it installed there's no need to do that again. <coughs> so what you do is actually just run the program itself uh, like I said very small starts up very quickly you need to select the area your source directory of course uh, so the area that we're going to select is going to be uh, tools and uh, video editing tools and video converter. So what it's going to do is search all files in this directory. Uh, we're going to also rename them from mod files to uh, MPG files. Uh, you can also switch that to MPEG if you want. Um, and then the added text. Uh, if you look in the uh, configuration file here you'll see that there are several comments about different types of formats that you can use. Um, it's entirely up to you. The default is pretty pretty handy. It's going to give you month, date, year, and then a underscore hour, minute, second, dot mpeg. It maintains the uh, file information. So for example, we've got that this was modified on 8.15 at 3.05 p.m. That information is going to stay the same for the new file. It's not going to be converted to the current date and time. That's going to that's going to remain the same. Uh, and then if you were to uh, basically leave this in here that's going to be your file name is going to be the month date uh, and time that it was recorded you can add something in front of that for example football or stadium in front of that and then that information is going to follow now next we have the most important check mark which is the widescreen flag uh, what that's going to do is basically label the beginning of the video as being in widescreen so that when you open it up in media player under XP uh, it's going to come up in 16 by 9 now an important caveat to this is that Windows 7, which is what I'm using here, actually opens this properly. All the mod files open properly with the proper resolution. I'm not sure what's changed. Um, probably something to do with the uh, the codecs. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, for Windows XP, I did have to do this when I was using that, you know, just a few months ago. Uh, and you can either do all files, all files that are found, or you can do a manual selection, which is basically you're going to pick out the area or pick out the particular files that you want to do. Uh, in this case we'll just do all files because there's only one in that particular directory and then your target directory of course you can select to be whatever you want. Uh, I had it previously set as a desktop. Uh, so once we do that conversion it's going to go very quickly and you can immediately see that file has appeared. Uh, once we open that file uh, it's going to look like a 16 by 9 format. Um, like I said this is this is the proper resolution for this video. Uh, you can you can easily see that it's much more stretched than it is than it was previously, um, and that is how this video should look. So hopefully you found this helpful. Again, the link for uh, this particular program, uh, SD Copy, is in the sidebar. Um, I found it a very useful tool, and uh, kudos to Sections Chef for coming up with this particular program. Very useful. Thanks.